So welcome to the chapter of the Rook. Rook is uh, one of the simplest pieces on the chessboard and uh, its movements are very simple. It can go sideways along the rank or along the file till there is no blockage. So in this particular position, the Rook in its move can move to any of the squares along the highlighted lines. In the next lesson, in the next diagram, we'll look at the limitations of the Rook. So the only thing Rook cannot do is jump over its own pieces. So in this particular diagram, the Rook is free to go up, go down, go left. But in the right hand side, because of the white pawn, its movement is restricted only up till the E4 square. It cannot jump over to this side because its movement is restricted by the white pawn on F4. So if for some reason we want to take the rook this side, we have to execute and maneuver. We have to move the rook maybe three times. One, two and three. So in this lesson, what did we learn? We know now the rook can move along a straight line in all directions on the chessboard, but it cannot jump over its own pieces. In the next lesson, we'll look at uh, how the rook can make a capture. We'll also get introduced to the concept of a capture. In chess, the two most important concepts are checkmate and capture of pieces. We want to capture pieces of the opponent, which basically means replacing the opponent piece on a particular square by our own piece. So that is known as a capture. And uh, we look at that in the next example. In this position, we have the rook and we have four of the opponent's pieces, which are all in range of the white rook. So if it were white to move, white has the option to capture any of the black pieces in its turn. So let us see how actually a capture is done. So I will take my rook to this d7 square where the black bishop is there and I will just place it there and we see the black bishop disappears. So basically it has been captured in a real game, in a real board. You would pick up the black bishop, place it outside of the chess board and replace it with the rook. So we say the rook has captured the bishop on d7. The same can be done with all other pieces because all are in range of the rook. The rook can capture this rook if it wants. This would be a new possibility. And it can also choose to capture either of the pawns. And like this. So I hope this makes it clear how a piece captures the opponent pieces. Capture basically means replacing the opponent's piece on the board with our own piece because there can be only one piece on a single square. So with this, we conclude this chapter of uh, making captures with the rook. We'll move on to the next example. And in that, we'll get introduced to the second piece, which is the bishop.